Hey, what's up, guys? Hope y'all are doing well. Uh, so I told y'all that uh, soon I'd be upgrading the RAM on my Galaxy Book Odyssey. Well, today's the day. Actually, to be honest with you, I did it uh, a couple days ago, but I'm backtracking and doing it again just so I can capture it on video. Uh, it's a little tricky. It's not tricky. I, as y'all know, I already burned up my computer once by uh, attempting to do this, and that's because it has this little metal case that goes over it. Well, it, it clearly says before you replace, unplug the battery, uh, unplug the main power. And I can't seem to find the main power anywhere on here, and I think it's because Samsung doesn't want you doing it yourself. So I found a solution to that, and I went ahead and put electrical tape right here on all the connectors that surround it. Last time I dropped this, and it touched something on the board and smoked, and that's what ruined my motherboard, and I had to send it off to get it replaced. So... Uh, as you can see, I uh, went ahead and put electrical tape over anything that I could possibly touch with that metal case. Uh, the memory we're going to be installing today is the uh, Crucial 16 gig, 3200 megahertz. And um, so with your Galaxy Book Odyssey, you got, uh, you got, it comes single channel RAM on board, whether you got the 8 or the 16. If you if you opted for the 32, then you probably I'm I'm sure you have dual channel. So you do have one available slot of DDR4, and um, that's what we're going to do now. So I got I got 16 on board, and then I have a one available slot here. So um, you can see we got letters up. It's very simple. Uh, I'll put it back together, and then you just reverse it from that but I don't want to go through all the taping and everything again I'll show you how I did it though so it's pretty simple uh, it's got a little notch missing you can see it only goes one way um, clearly it's 16 gigs you get that so look here you just put it slide it in like that and then just push it down till it locks you see these little tabs on the side clickety clack boom there it is all right, and then this is the little metal thing. I, it's so stupid that they use metal. And uh, just be very, very careful. Make sure there's nothing exposed. I, I do recommend doing it this way. I don't know how to take off the, the main power or disconnect the main power. The I didn't see a harness. I saw wires, but I didn't see a harness. So but we're just going to take this, and we're going to make sure it lines up like it's supposed to. Then we're gonna pop it down like that. Boom, and it's got this little sticker to seal. Just like that. Click, clack. We're in there. Um, just make sure. Probably wouldn't even hurt to put a little piece of tape right there on that. But I'll show you what I mean. Let me peel some of this tape off and I'll show you. And then I'll pop the back back on. So basically this is just standard vinyl electrical tape and I literally just used it to cover. I'll show you exactly what I hit last time. Jeez. Yeah, I was just scared to death. And I'll show you what I mean. So let me find something that's not conductive. Here's a Samsung S Pen. So right here is where I hit last time. I touched this metal thing to right there and it burned up my charging. It would cut on, it would power on, but it would no longer charge. And so I can see that this one right here is for my trackpad. This one says MB, so I'm, I'm sure that's motherboard. Uh, and then I'm guessing that either this one or this one is the main power. And I don't know how to disconnect that. Man, I'm just a do-it-yourselfer. So. That way seems to work pretty good. Um, that's how I recommend to do it, unless you know how to disconnect those wires. Now do this at your own risk. I'm not telling you to go out there and do it, but if you do decide to go out there and do this yourself, I highly recommend running that piece of tape around there. 
it's just standard regular vinyl electrical tape you do it on this camera i got the gopro pointing down instead of wearing the gopro this time on my head like i did last time i thought that this would be easier so i got this little crappy rig set up magic arm gopro light all that and uh I'll even, I might even get a little B-roll of that just so y'all can see how I did it. But, uh, just standard vinyl electrical tape. Put it around anything it could possibly uh, hit and seems to uh, seems to work pretty good. So I got, I got now I have dual channel, 32 gigs of RAM. And RAM isn't like something that's... Uh, it's not going to make your computer any faster. RAM is going to make your computer communicate with all of its components faster so if you've got 16 gigs of ram you're probably pretty good unless you're trying to edit 4k video then the playback might be a little glitchy um but you can always do proxy files but that takes so long i really just wanted to i just you know wanted to beef it up so we put the 970 evo plus ssd on this side that's uh already 512 on this side i don't know which one it is but so I upgraded it to a terabyte over here, and then we just added the dual channel, 32 gigs of RAM right there. And I gotta admit, man, it it uh it plays back 4K video in DaVinci Resolve without any problems. So the 3050 Ti really has been keeping up. Um, but please do this at your own risk. I don't want to hear in the comments that you know I did it and I burned it up. There is a video out there of a guy taking this apart and uh, saying showing how you can up upgrade your ssd and your ram and he did drop that little metal cover right there on his motherboard and then a video a day later said uh three days later my battery's dead on the galaxy book odyssey and i guarantee you that's what he did the reason i know it is because that's what i did it, i mean i did it and but samsung covered it they fixed it but it, it was gone for a month and i don't want to go a month without a without my computer. I was reluctant to even make this video now because I've got another real estate shoot tomorrow and I really need this computer for that tomorrow because I promised a 24 hour delivery and tomorrow's my mom's birthday and we're going to dinner. So I gotta go shoot then run, pick up my kids, go to dinner, take them home, come back and then edit video. I'll be up all night or edit photo. I'll be up all night editing those photos so that I can uh, get them stand in before I go to work the next morning but I'm not complaining you know why because I'm uh I'm a paid photographer baby yep even the dog likes that idea so uh hopefully this helps y'all out and um yeah I really appreciate each and every one of y'all uh thanks for watching and yeah you appreciate them too at a girl I really appreciate y'all thanks for watching you know uh Every one of y'all been so supportive. Um, I know it's not the best content. I try to get to the point. I try to at least teach or encourage or motivate. But, um, you know, if it's something that I learn, I just try to pass it on. I'm not a filmmaker or creator or anything like that. I just literally just try to pass on the education. So, thanks for watching. If you found it helpful, please uh, take a moment and just smash the like button. If you're into photo and tech related stuff then uh if you want to subscribe that'd be cool too but you don't have to um maybe i can earn it in another video but thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one peace mm -hmm.